I just got started. So I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Well, it's a pleasure to speak with you today. Um, I'm going to go ahead get started into our first question. So we all know you're performing at the Smirnoff Ice Relaunch for concert series alongside T-Pain. Um, I know you're from Atlanta. How does it feel to be able to participate in a concert series like this? Like what inspired you to say, yes, I want to do this? <laughs> I think it's just, um, I, I, I was really excited and appreciative that a brand as classic as Smirnoff Ice would come to Atlanta. And then on top of just coming to Atlanta, they have really been able to and I and I feel like really strategically been able to access the old school and the new school crowd and I feel like as much as T-Pain is old school he's just as much new school because he's had so much influence you know on us and I feel like in addition to that I couldn't say no for the simple fact that it is to benefit women in music I feel like that's just you know, that was just the icing on the cake. Yes, I love that. So speaking of women in music, your style and your sound has really evolved over the years from Beetlejuice to where you are now. I have seen so much growth and just so much, you know, you just really speak to the girls. If I can't say it, I know your music can. Um, Where do you get your inspiration from? Well, first of all, thank you. <laughs> Um, I would say, you know, last night I had an epiphany. I went to a concert last night and I realized that you cannot be, and this is like, I, mean, I hope it doesn't sound too corny, but you cannot be inspired just sitting in a box. You know, you cannot be inspired if you're just like in your room and, and the only person that you're interacting with is yourself. And I just, it just dawned on me, like you have to remain open. You have to be open and open to things and open to life um you know to be able to let that in and I feel like I get a lot of my inspiration from I don't know just my everyday basic relationships like whether it be with my sister or my family or my boyfriend I feel like it's just like just remaining open and just trying to maintain an intellectual approach to you know the interaction period and and an, an artistic and creative approach because I feel like um and another thing I saw at the concert last night, it said, imagination is more important than knowledge. And I felt like, I felt like it was just accurate. I felt like it was just like a true statement, you know? And I feel like that's a bold statement, but I feel like it was a true statement, you know? Yeah. Because I feel like without imagination, yes, I'm fine. Thank you. I feel like without an imagination, the knowledge that you have, you won't be able to like apply it in a beneficial way that would, you know, further along would inspire other people, you know? So I feel like that was a really interesting statement to me. Yeah, I think that's something that everybody can notice when it comes to your music is that just being honest, because that's what makes it be able to relate to people like me or people like my girlfriends or, you know, just things that we were talking mm -hmm. about. Are you telling the truth, girl? Like, this is what I'm experiencing too. So I think- right something that people gravitate towards when it comes to you and your mm -hmm. music. So I think that's amazing. You work with a lot of amazing artists. I know you had a song come out with Ryan Trey. Mm -hmm. Who are some artists that you just say, I have to work with them? If I don't work with nobody else, I have to do something with them. Based on some people that I've already worked with or people that I want to work with? That you want to work with. I really want to do some music with a friend of mine, Kylie Uchis. We haven't had the opportunity yet, um, but I really want to. And um, I'm actually just, I would say that I'm, I'm a, I'm the biggest fan of Atlanta artists. I know that's like ironic. Well, maybe it's not ironic because I'm from here. Maybe that's just why that is the way it is. But I feel like if I could work with all Atlanta artists, I would, you know, it just so happens to be that it's it's more of a male dominated city. Um, I, I know that Summer Walker is from Atlanta too, if I'm not mistaken, and Chloe Bailey and Halle Bailey are also from Atlanta. So I feel like it would be cool to do something with them. Um, maybe also just um, the rappers like 21 Savage, I love. Obviously I love Young Thug's music. I would do anything to do another song with him. We actually have some songs, um, unreleased songs. So hopefully yeah. we'll be able to put that out soon. 
Yes, I love that. I think that I'm from Georgia too, so I'm totally biased when it comes to anything Atlanta or Georgia. I just feel like it hits different. You know, I right. don't know if it's something with my ears, but it just hits different to me from anything right. else. So I totally, right. I feel that. Um, So just speaking of your future and just things you want to do, what can we expect, not only from your performance on Thursday, but just from Mariah the Scientist in general, what projects are you excited about? Um, I'm about to put a project out any day. Well, I don't say any day now, but really soon. So just keep your eyes open for that. And I feel like it's my best work. So I'm really excited to put it out. I love that. I'm so excited to hear that. I know everybody else will be. And I just want to throw one last question out there. Just a random question. Um, I love to keep it a little spicy. So if you Mm -hmm. have any hidden talents that like nobody would ever expect from you what is something that mariah the scientist can say she can do i feel like my answer i i have been asked this before and i feel like i always give a weird answer like i just always give some something that just i don't know if that should be the answer and i start thinking like what else could i say like what are some things that i can do extraordinarily good and it's just like my answers are just like so unconventional that I just don't even know how to answer this like like, whistle like a bird or like okay old well like I don't know I'm trying to think that you know singing whistling like it gives that (laughs) I don't know like maybe maybe so I could sew from time to time okay that's good that's what you know how to do I gotta get a good answer to that question because the next time I I'm asked that I don't want to I want to have like a good like sh- shocking answer I want it to be like oh. that gas the girls yes yeah. yes I put shock value with that answer so I'm going to think on that for the next time I get asked that okay but are I'm you going to come to the show on Thursday yes I'm going to be there and I'm going to make sure I see you and I'm be like hey girl, girl you remember like, I can't wait. To be there. Look, everybody who don't have your tickets, please go to womeninmusic.com slash Smirnoff Tour so you can get it and come see us Thursday. Please, please do that. Thank you so much for your time today. <laughs> I truly enjoyed speaking with you. You are a girl's girl. Like, I just feel like we could talk all day. <laughs> well, I'll see you on Thursday. We can talk then. Yes. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs>